I hate birds. I'm so scared of them. All kinds? I like pigeons or? I hate pigeons. <laughs> maybe, it's, maybe it's, it's growing up in New York. I think that's what it is. Maybe. I, but I've also had like terrible incidents with birds. Like it, They smell the fear. They smell my fear. <laughs> Hey friends, it's your girl Emily Curl. We're back in our iHeartRadio studio today hanging out with Clyde and Gracie from the band Lawrence. Can we give it up for Clyde and Gracie being here? Thanks for having us. So nice to see you guys. Thank you. I hope you're ready to play a little game that we have prepared for you. Yeah. Now you both are siblings, so I've got to ask, are, do you get competitive with each other? Like, do you guys like to play games? We like to play games. Clyde's I'm like very obsessed with like board games and things. And I feel like you're annoyingly not that competitive about yeah. it. So. You like I, want Gracie to be more competitive. I wish we were more competitive. I have better things to do yeah. with time. <laughs> I'm always trying to get her to play games against me. She's like, nah, I'm, I'm read, probably, a, read I know a book I'm or, lose. or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> read a book. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, today what we have planned for you is we're gonna test your knowledge of each other. So this is gonna be a who knows who better sibling edition. So we have two iPads in front of you. So I'm gonna give you a scenario. You're gonna write down what you think the other person would say, okay? And then we're gonna flip it around and see if you got it correct. Okay. Right. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, our first one, here we go. Clyde and Gracie, what is your sibling's zodiac sign? Oh, I know. I do know. Oh, okay, this is an easy one. We actually put the answer for Gracie in a upcoming song was. Oh, really? I probably wouldn't have known it. Oh, but it was inspired you by the song. You wouldn't have known it other than that? I just don't really know them, period. I'm I know so, my own. I'm so mine. Are, okay, yeah. so are you big into astrology? You no, love it? No, but I just, someone told me all the things And about you're like, this like, is it. That's horrifying. Okay, so what zodiac sign is Gracie? She's a Pisces. Oh, Pisces. I just start sobbing. <laughs> yeah. I'm a Gemini, so I can sob right along with yeah, you. I'm right there. Okay, so what is Clyde's zodiac sign? Clyde's a Cancer, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. All right, but Clyde, you don't really know what that means, right? Or do you? I've been told that Cancers are very uh, connected to the idea of home, and I feel very connected Aww. to home, so I feel like in that way I relate. But otherwise, oh. no, I know, I know Okay, anymore. I always feel like I heard they were like soft on, or hard on the outside, soft on the inside. Do you think that's like me? an egg? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you an egg god? <laughs> I'm. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, good question. Okay. Our next one is, what is your sibling's favorite song of all time? Oh. Ooh. I know. This is a tough god. one. I don't know what my answer is. I think I know what his answer is, but I don't know if I. Okay. Um, Wait. Okay. Don't let him see. Don't let him cheat. There's no way. Clive, we'll start with you. What is Gracie's favorite song? I put You Make Me Feel Like a Natural Woman. Oh, that's good. Is that up there for you? It's definitely really high up there. I should have thought of that. Actually. What were what you going to say? Would you say? I would have said, yeah, that's really good. That's actually better. I was going to say I Will by the Beatles because mm, I just figured good. we'd both, yeah. Okay. Well, oh, that we'll makes me even the more confident in what you are going to mm -hmm. say for me. I think she's, should I say? Oh, yeah. What do you think she's going to say? I think that she's going to say, hey, Jude. Bye. Hey, Gracie, what did you say? Nice. Is it Hey Jude? Yeah, oh! It, nice. it was between that, Sail Away by Randy Newman, and uh, For Once in My Life by Stevie Wonder. But oh, I, I had a feeling hey, Jude. Say, hey Jude. I just interviewed Julian yesterday. No way. This whole wow. Jude album is so good. It's amazing. Okay, here we go. What is your sibling's biggest fear? Oh, I, I know. Yeah, mine's so easy. Really? I don't want to raise my like, too personal for like loneliness. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what we to need to get this one right. Oh, I know what mine is. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I know what you're gonna say for me. <laughs> okay, great. okay, Gracie, what is your biggest fear? Birds. <laughs> birds? Really? I hate birds. I'm so scared of them. All kinds, I like pigeons or I live like, in New York my whole life. Pigeons. I can't deal with pigeons. I will walk to the other side of the street. Wait, so what happens when you see a pigeon? You actually run to the other I, side. I like you... pretend that I'm chill about it if I'm with someone else, and I'm like, <laughs> like, if it, like moves towards me, I'm like. <laughs> And then if I'm alone, I'll just like literally go out of like, my way to not be near them. Oh my god, that's so funny. Yeah, hate pigeons. Hate <laughs> maybe it's maybe it's, it's growing up in New York. I think that's what it is. Maybe I. But I've also had like terrible incidents with birds. Like all, my whole life. Really? But I think it's because I'm like asking for it. Like because I. You oh, know it's like you're, you're like, so aware of something, so, so you always them. see it. They smell the fear. They smell my fear. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> what I is think your biggest fear? Gracie is. That no, if, what is if, your biggest fear? What do you think? If it's not what she says, then it's hilarious. <laughs> I think she's gonna say corn. Yeah. <laughs> I have a weird, Birds and corn. Wait, I have a what? weird so aversion. I know I wouldn't say I'm afraid of it, but I knew you were gonna put this. Wait. I have a weird aversion to corn. I hate corn. Okay, who is 
the favorite child. All right, who's the favorite child? Linus. I'm going there. Little brother. Oh, yeah. did you say Linus yeah. too? Shout out to Linus. Yeah. All right, so there's three of you guys. Yeah. yeah. How old is Linus? He's a lot younger than us. He's like. He's in college years now. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Linus. And um, what does Linus think about all this? Is he also a musician? Does he like to play music? He's, is he? Yeah, he's, he's a fantastic musician. musician. Really? Yeah. yeah. And he's, he's his in... favorite child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about? All right, between the two of you, who is the best at keeping secrets? Gracie, who would you say? I think you're gonna say me, but I wrote both, question mark. I think oh. it's you. I think, I think Gracie is the best both. the best secret keeper of anybody that I know in really? the world. Yeah. Maybe our mom. Sorry that I said about that corn thing. <laughs> <laughs> Exposing all your secrets. Okay, what about who is the worst at texting back between the two of you? <laughs> I have a feeling I know who this is going to be. Who is the worst at texting back? <laughs> Gracie. Gracie, that yeah. was unanimous. Are you a bad texter? Uh, sometimes, yeah. I go through phases where I'll like respond to everything super promptly, and then um, the other 99% of my life, I am a really bad texter. What is y'all's like preferred method of communication? I feel like I'm a big FaceTime. Email for me. What? Yeah. Like even with I your friends, you back. like. Oh no, no, not. But oh, just but if like in general, you prefer any, an email. I'm just better at I'm like getting back to people over email than anything else. Okay, yeah, and then like, you can like read it, you can see it. Like my girlfriend will sometimes email me if, if she'll be like. like you better if, respond to her text. I know. <laughs> I'm just better on the email. I don't know. Um, do you feel like between the two of you, I've been spending so much time together growing up together, like, do you, how do you communicate? Is it like a, like a, not like a twin thing, but at this yeah. point, do you know each other so well? Definitely. Yeah. We have yeah. a definite shorthand, I would say. Like, a lot of our conversations will just be like, we won't even Half have to get to the end of the sentence. You're like, yeah, we already it's know. It's just like, oh, did you do the, yeah, no, I, I did that, and da, 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 like. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. And we're able to read each other, like scary well at this point. Yeah. Even like, on stage sometimes, like when we oh, can't it's like say certain something looks? to each other, like sometimes if my voice is feeling tired, I'll just like give Gracie a certain look and she'll know like, oh, he's not gonna go for that note, I'll go for that note instead. Or like, I'll give you a certain look if I like think you might not realize that you're like the slightest bit like sharp, sharp or something yeah. like oh. that. And she'll just like look at me and be like, got it. But like, I don't have to like yeah. Has there ever been a moment where you've like tried to signal at one or the other and the other one wasn't catching on to what you were That's signaling? Yeah, yeah. yeah, from time to time. And then sometimes we'll like, after the show, be like, like well, oh, that look was that this. Was that, <laughs> that, that was yeah. value. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's do a couple more. Yeah. What is your sibling's dream collaboration? I think that that's what I'm saying for Gracie. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's between Stevie Wonder and Randy Newman, but I think I'm gonna say Randy Newman. Oh my. Nice. You guys do know each other well. Okay, Gracie, what would you say? I, it's between a few also, like Carol King, or Aretha Franklin, or Amy Winehouse. Mm, <gasps> we're on the right track. I said someone different from those people. Oh, really? Janis Joplin? Oh, yeah. there we go, there we go. Okay, let's do one more. What is your sibling's favorite venue they've ever performed at? Ooh. Or, you know, or favorite show? If there's a show, a venue in mind. Wait, oh. I was gonna say up. our show's next week that we're playing. Oh my God. <laughs> are gonna be my favorite. No, I'll say something. Um, wait, what is the show next week? We're playing uh, three nights at Brooklyn Steel. Um, I used to like, live next to Brooklyn Steel. That is the it's best an venue. venue. It is the coolest One venue. One of the best in the city. And we're we're kind of it's like our first ever festival that we're throwing. They we're calling it Staycation, and each night is a completely unique Lawrence set list with a theme. So the first night is wedding themed. The what? second night is Y2K themed, Stop. and the third night is New York City themed. Oh my, okay, and so. And we're playing all special songs and outfits and special guests and special merch and all different things just for that theme. That's so it's fun. I have so many questions. First is, how, yeah. did you guys always want to do something like that? Is that always been top of mind? Many years ago, we did a show called Christina versus the World, which we did like Christina Aguilera covers and a lot of like Y2K-esque things. And it was a really small show. We did it like 
sort of an undersell in like a small venue just because we thought it'd be really fun. And I think it's always really stuck with us how fun that was. And we oh, were like, yeah. a themed show. Oh, there's nothing better, show, yeah. And, and then still being able to play all of our originals through it, like, and try to match our originals to like one of the nights was kind of fun to do, so. It was also kind of inspired by the fact that we've been on tour for most of the whole last year. And we've been, because we've been promoting our new album, Hotel TV, we've been playing mostly songs from that album, mm -hmm. but we have so many like awesome fans that are constantly requesting some of the deeper cuts from older albums. So this like three night unique set list each night thing is a way to like really allow those people who have been mostly seeing the new stuff right. to come to a show and each night we're gonna play a mix of new stuff and old stuff and covers. It's so like covers too. It's like six so hours of unique, unique music. music yeah. Okay, I'm gonna implement a new question here. Okay. If you're allowed to tell, to tell us this, can you say what you think is your siblings, like what they're most excited to play mm. on those shows, mm. one of the covers? Oh, this is already a good one, okay. Clyde is still going, here we go. All right, here we go. All right, Gracie, what are you most excited to play? What cover? I have two. I would say either What Dreams Are Made Of. That was what I wrote the and then crossed out. Oh, okay, I saw the Lizzie McGuire. I said, what is this? Yeah. Okay. Or, and that would be for Y2K Night. Yep. Um, and for New York Night, we're doing some Broadway songs. Should I say more specifically? I put the one that I think you're Don't most... Don't Rain On My Parade. Oh! <laughs> Y'all really, I'm impressed with this. I really am. We talk a lot. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, we're always together. We talk a lot uh, on New York night, New York State of Mind. Yeah, that is what I was really? gonna say. Really, that's what you're yeah, gonna say? Totally. Well, yeah. so much to look forward to. And let's talk about, before we let you go, let's talk about Hotel TV. First and foremost, congratulations. Thank it's you. been out for a little bit, you know, seeing your, your your audience interact with it, having the music, and after putting it out, has the album changed at all for you guys now, like when you listen back and you think back on that project after it's been out for a little bit of time? Yeah, I mean, I think a lot about uh, a song like Don't Lose Sight, which I think we both loved so much from like when we had written it and a lot of songs in the album like that, like we had, we loved the songs and we were really excited about them, but you know, we didn't really know how people would react to it. Um, each album is like a little bit different from the one before, not like crazy different, but yeah, I think it makes me think about um, how like connected I feel to the people who listen to our music, that they really like went on the journey with us for this album and like totally got what we were going for. I have to say too, I feel like there was not a day that went by that I didn't see Don't Lose Sight on TikTok or someone yeah. covering it or duetting it. What was that like Thanks for you guys? <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, I loved it. I was here yeah, for it. Um, what was that like seeing I mean, your song, seeing it just everywhere? That had to be a really wild feeling. It was really cool. Cause yeah, I feel like we've been uh, kind of growing this fan base for a while of people where it's kind of like a, if you know, you know thing. Yeah. But then to have this song where it was more out there in a way that like so many people were seeing it, whether it's on the radio or in a grocery store or a commercial. So it was, it was pretty wild. Like I was definitely getting a lot of texts from like everyone I know being like, oh, I'm in the it's whatever okay. coffee place and it's on. So definitely really, really, really exciting. And one thing I had to bring up too is I am such a huge fan of John Bellion. Oh, and yeah. when I saw he was a co-producer, a co-writer yeah. on this album, I mean, I think he is such a genius. Yeah. What was that like working with him? That had to be special. It was amazing. I mean, he's like now just part of our family. Like we're siblings, obviously, and everything we do feels Do you think great. he'd be good at this game? <laughs> wow, I would love to play this game with John. I feel <laughs> I, like... Yeah, what maybe. do we think John's biggest yeah, fear is? Yeah, that I... Wow. Corn birds. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. It was a very natural uh, progression from like, you know, meeting <clears throat> him and he, he had actually, we had randomly opened for him at this like college oh, show. Oh, no way. That's how we originally met him and he, happened to uh, really like our set and then just like stayed in, we just stayed in touch and eventually he was like, we should work together. And I think that like having someone who sees you at a stage in your career where like what they're really in it for is just how much they love the music. It's just oh, a really unmatched. important, important way to like meet someone and then be a collaborator yeah. with them. Well, you felt that energy through the music. I mean, the album is absolutely incredible. Thank you thank both you. so yeah. much for being here, for taking the time, for thank playing you. our game. And of course, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you stream Lawrence's album, Hotel TV, out now on iHeartRadio. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. 
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.